Hi everyone, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that is supporting my page. Dinky Kids CTS Diaries would not be what it is today if it wasn't for your support. There's been times where it's been difficult and, you know, really not felt well. But thanks to your support, you, you know, you all helped me through things. And we all have good days and bad days. I, I couldn't do it without you lot. You know, many of you are my family and friends. And even, you know, strangers who have become friends. You know, 1,100 of you are well supporting me, raising awareness about this connective tissue disorder, which many doctors and nurses and any people within the medical profession I've never heard of and many of them are often reluctant to learn anything about it and which is quite sad really. You know, thankfully, you know, more are learning about it and starting to understand it a little bit more. See, I was diagnosed 35 years ago. I was two and a half weeks old, just a tiny little baby. I was premature. <laughs> seven and a half weeks early <laughs> and I was three pounds four so I was tiny but I wasn't like super super tiny but I was tiny and I was floppy you could twist my hands and my feet right round and the skin would just which is still like that today <laughs> which is a nightmare when you're having to remove plasters or anything sticky which I try to refrain from doing nowadays. It's not worth the pain, people. <laughs> I'm sidetracking again, I keep doing that. Although I don't post as much as I'd like to or as, as much as I can. You know, a lot of the things that I go through, the, the same sort of things that I go through. So without wanting to repeat myself, and then I don't want to bore you a lot, so I, I do kind of keep away, but I do try and share as much as I can with you because and the reason why I do this and I do this page is because I don't want anyone else to feel alone. I grew up not knowing a soul with this EDS. I, as far as I was aware, there was a lady in Yorkshire he had been diagnosed and she was on the contact of family scheme and I think she was the only one that was known at the time. Now remember this was back in 1985 and things were a lot different back then. You didn't have social media so it was a lot more difficult. So I didn't have anyone to relate to within means of my disability. No, I've always kind of ploughed on through things. You know, I found school hard. You know, quite physically demanding. I couldn't keep up the coursework. And I did miss a lot of school because of appointments and being admitted to hospital for different things. And, and then, you know, going to residential college for three years and then going to my local sits form, which was Everything that I've gone through has been a challenge in some way or another, but I've always just mustered through it because that's how I deal with things. I'll get through it and then I'll have a good cry at the end. <laughs> uh, crying is a good release, I say. And many days I will spend the days watching documentary, being creative, like growing up, I've always loved drawing and painting, writing stories and making things. Do you try and do, still do some of that? Like, I'll sketch if I feel like it, if my hand's okay. But I still do my creative writing. You know, I do my blogging, I do my stories, I do my poetry. The one thing that I didn't do when I was younger, what I would have liked to do is making videos and that's what 
I do my YouTube channel. So I do still do many things that I've loved doing since I was a kid. Obviously I've had to adapt to a new way of doing things. I'm not going to use my left hand. as kind of caused more problems in the long run. No, my, this arm, it struggles. I, I have arthritis in the shoulder and around that area. So it, it is very limited to what I can do with my creativity. But I still push through it. With appointments and tests, I... I do get anxious about things, really anxious. It is getting harder because I feel I'm feeling pain even more. So going to have my, you know, go to a dietary appointment and, and they're not really listening to what we're saying to them. It can be quite detrimental. Such a small thing can have a huge impact physically on me and that will lead to psychologically but you will never see me with a smile. I'm, I've always been a smiler. And I think I always will be. Yeah, this page and my YouTube channel has given me a voice that I can use because it's me that people take a notice of. And, and I don't mean that in like, a, oh, I'm seeking attention. But many times in my life where it's been other people and then my needs. Do you, do you, I hope you understand what I mean by that. Well, yeah, it's, it's given me a platform to, to raise awareness and to try and get through that by staying as positive as I can and do the things that I enjoy when I can and as much as I can. Embrace the good days and when I have a bad day, I will just focus on tomorrow. Just focus on tomorrow. Because, you know, today will not last forever. And I'm going to be deep. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I really just want to say thank you. And I hope you continue to, to support me. You know, we've been going since 2013. I remember when we first started this channel, I had plans of organising a family fun fair day thing but that kind of didn't happen <laughs> because I ended up in hospital not once but twice with five weeks in between so yeah that didn't happen <laughs> story of my life <laughs> but I have done some amazing things I've been a part of charity fundraising spot walks and um, I've done a, a film screening screening not screaming <laughs> screening at local film media place I've I've had support from a Coronation Street actress who also has the same you know she has ADS as well. I've been in a local newspaper which was funny because they contacted me on the basis of the fact that I went and met the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> but then when we got talking and she asked me about my disability and I got, you know, explaining about that, it turned into that. I will share that on the screen. And it's quite funny when I look at that picture because I was absolutely frozen. I was not dressed for going outside. <laughs> Although it looks like it, I had this little jacket and I was like, I want to go back in. But you see, I was smiling, I was laughing, and I just got through it. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of. You no, know, I've done crafting, I've had my own craft stalls where I've raised money for charity again. And now I do my t shirts and my bundles. So I feel proud of how far we've come. And I say it won't be possible for me to do half of these things without you lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to give you a big, big hug. But a virtual hug from me to you, we'll have to do right now. <laughs> and 
if you want to see any videos about EDS or anything to do with disability or just about me in general, then let me know. Comment on my page on one of the posts and let me know. I'll be filming. I'm always filming once, twice a week. So, unless I end up not feeling well, then that's another thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you from me, Dinky, to you guys. Bye.